I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Mississippi M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. The Mississippi River States. And possibly the most important part of this lesson is down here. Draw me a straight line, straight line, triangle, 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 triangle. North, south, east, west. Yes, your compass rose is very important when we talk about the river states that are north, south, east, and west. All right, we're going to start up here, and we are going to freeform draw the state. So if they don't look quite like they're supposed to, it's okay. We're going to draw a straight line down little curve line out, straight line down, curve line in, leave it floating. Come up to the top, little wavy line, straight diagonal up, little wavy line across, down, keep going, and connect. Come right underneath. We're just going to draw a little wavy line down, little wavy line over, wavy line up, connect, come straight down. We're going to draw a curve line in, little curve line out, straight line down, wavy line up, over, and leave it floating. Right underneath, straight line down, little straight line in, straight line down, straight line in, leave it floating, and right underneath, straight line, curve line in, little curve lines, wavy line down, wavy line over, curve line up, down, wavy line, and leave it floating. Because now we are going to come back up to the top and we are going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, out, in, curve line over, connect. Right underneath, straight line down, curve line in, up, connect. Right underneath, let's bring this curve wavy line up underneath, slightly wavy line out and over and leave that floating. Come back inside up to this space, curve line, wavy line up and leave it floating. Come back to this space, we're going to just draw a wavy line down, connect, and right at that point we're just going to draw a wavy line up and leave it floating. Come back to this space, straight line, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Come about right here, we're just going to draw a straight line down, wavy line in, curve line up, connect. All right, now we're going to number these. This is one, two, three. <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, here comes the Mississippi River. Starting up here, we're just going to draw a little curve line out and up, and now we're just going to follow our state borders all the way down keep going keep going until we get to this part down here at the bottom and we're just going to go 
Curve line out, curve line out, curve line in the center. Right about here, let's just draw a wavy line, connect, jump over, wavy line, connect. This down here is the Gulf of Mexico. And that is where the Mississippi, I'm going to make this a double, the Mississippi River goes all the way down and empties in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, what about these one, two, threes? All right, number one is the state of Minnesota. Minnesota, that's where it starts. Number two, Wisconsin. Number three, Iowa. Number four, which is a little goofy looking, but I'll still accept it. Illinois. Illinois. Number five, Missouri. Number six, Kentucky. Number seven, Tennessee. Number eight, let's jump down here. Number eight, Arkansas. Number nine, Mississippi. I'm going to see if I can start it down here. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I -P -P -I. And number 10, Louisiana. Louisiana. Okay. So, the Mississippi River was a major, major transportation lane, river, for people to ship their goods down south and bring them up north and people would talk about well it's west of the Mississippi or they would say it's east of the Mississippi so it's a very important designator all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay like I said your compass rows super important because like I said it tells you what direction the Mississippi is going flowing and it'll keep you on track. Now, regular blue, it starts out in Minnesota. Goes all the way down the border of Wisconsin. Iowa, and I'm making this a dark blue so it stands out. Illinois, or Illinois, but I think it's Illinois. Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and it empties out down here, Louisiana. And the Gulf, I put a wavy line, the Gulf of Mexico is the biggest block of water. Now, if you are west of the Mississippi, I'm going to color these states in yellow because you don't want to destroy the detail you just did. So you're going to pick a light color for your map. Then using yellow green, I am going to color in the states that are east of the Mississippi. And you can really see how, as a trade route, the Mississippi is very important. It's still important for transportation and getting goods from the Midwest to all corners. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are the Mississippi River states. Super important. For transportation, the westward movement, the Civil War, all kinds of things in history and the present revolve around the Mississippi River. Okay, bye-bye.